All right, Glenn, tell us why you chose an Excalibur. Well, basically, uh, I had always wanted an ultralight airplane, so to do my investigation, I used the Internet and went to several websites, got phone numbers, called the factories, and uh, basically some called me back, some didn't call me back. I called Excalibur, and within five minutes I had a return call, so I came down to Avon Park, Seaburn area, I had a demo ride, and was very satisfied with what I was found, so they, for that reason I bought the Excalibur. And how would you rate our factory support? Factory support, uh, I've had the capability of comparing Excalibur's factory support with other Brand X type ultralights that's, you know, compatible to an Excalibur, and I found it, you know, above all the rest because even after I got my aircraft purchased during the building process and after the building process, even after I had my airplane flying, I had nothing but the best support from the factory. How many hours did it take you to build your kit? Uh, that could vary depending on if you count every single minute of sitting in the workshop looking at the airplane and making airplane noises, but uh, I would guess overall somewhere around 185 to 200 hours total building time. And how would you compare the flying characteristics of your Excalibur to another popular brand? I'd say uh, controls are very responsive. Uh, I teach ultralight flying now that I finished mine, and I teach in other types of aircraft, uh, brand X, whatever you want to call it. And as far as the handling characteristics, every time I come back to my Excalibur, I feel a lot more comfortable flying it. And it seems like I've got better control of the aircraft. What kind of cruise speed do you like? I usually fly at about 85 to 90 miles per hour with mine. I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, during my ultralight instruction, I do have the students to slow down a little bit and fly, fly at about 70 to 75 miles per hour just because of their experience level only. What about your stall speed? With mine, I, uh, I get single pilot. I'm 210 pounds. My aircraft weighs uh, 460 pounds. I stall at somewhere around 32 miles per hour indicated. Now, if I'm carrying a passenger with me, uh, roughly about 38 to 42 miles per hour indicated. And that's when I had a student in the front seat, uh, he weighed about 240 pounds himself. So it's going to fluctuate just, you know, one or two miles per hour one way or the other. How do you like the Excalibur shock cord landing gear? Great thing about the shock cord landing gear, which I've been able to compare it with other ultralights that have the solid landing gear, is I can allow somebody to touch down a little bit harder than normal. And with the shock cord system, it does absorb the shock and everything's a lot smoother that way. You don't have that big bounce whenever you hit a little bit hard. So I love the shock cord system. But the thing about the Excalibur is very forgiving. You know, if a student touches down a little bit hard, the great thing about the shock cord system is it's not going to destroy my airplane. It's going to absorb the shock, I'll chew out the student, and we'll go and fly it again. So I've had really good experience with Excalibur.